Need fast, cheap, reliable MUD coins? Go to MMOXP.com for the cheapest coins on the market. And use discount code MONEYSHOT for an additional 5% off your next order. Link in the description below. <laughs> Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff out the Madden cheese as always. Got some passing plays for you guys today. They may look familiar. I said yesterday in my gameplay video that I was going to uh, put out an updated version of my empty base flex middle high low. I feel, I mean, I've run this play so many times, I feel like people probably would know my channel based off of this play. This is easily my most used play. As you can see, I've ran this almost 1,400 times uh, in Madden 21. Uh, a lot of it during solos and stuff like that, but a lot of it during gameplay as well uh and i mean this is just to me one of the most explosive plays in the game you see I average 22 yards of play every time i call this play and that average is going to go up because i'm going to show you guys a new way to run this play uh that's even more explosive than the previous way i got a way to run it now that's so explosive it actually it glitches out prevent defenses like the like the man uh cover three or the three high man whatever uh to me this is something that i i can't believe they haven't patched more i do feel like ea has nerfed this a few times but it doesn't matter they have to basically just remove this play from the game it's that broken so i'm going to show you that play the new way to run that play and then i'll also show you guys a couple of new plays to add to a scheme i will put links in the description if you guys want to see this in gameplay if you guys want to see this uh, i mean you can watch any of my gameplays and you're going to see me scoring with this play including yesterday's but i'll put in links to gameplays links to uh full breakdowns of the first series of this video if you guys want to check that out uh but let's go and let's pick the middle high low like i said this play is super glitchy now uh, i'm just going to pick i mean i'll start off it's kind of a cover three play i'll start off with that so we'll pick a cover three now before i start this video as always if you guys want to get your mud team up make sure to check out my coin sponsor mmoxp.com link in the description below use discount code money shot to get five percent off what's already the cheapest coins in the market make sure to check them out if you play mutt other than that like i said this play right here if you watched the last couple of videos i had a lot of setups the original video i would motion this guy in i would put him on a streak uh there's a couple different ways that i did it in the second video that i put out where i streaked both the tight end i, I streaked the you know the i did a lot of different things there's so many different ways to run this play but now i found a way that's super easy it doesn't give away the play as much and it's probably even more successful and more glitchy and that's all you have to do is put this x route here on a, uh, a drag that's all you have to do i also like to put the a route on the street because i want to pull coverage over in that direction as much as possible but this is pretty much it i mean i can also give myself a check down you can put your, your b on a on an in route or, an, or a, you know a slant or something like that i like to do a lot of those things but now that i can do this play without motioning in this receiver into the slot or this running back rather i do feel like this adds another dimension of uh, i mean number one it keeps the, the offense nice and spread which is really what makes this play successful is the fact that it spreads the defense out so much you can't cover just about anything with this much of a spread field i mean this is one of the most widespread formations in the game and that's one of the reasons i find so many holes and so many gaps and coverages so keeping them out does that but it also doesn't give away where the play is going which a lot of times if you made this motion i run identifier on my lineman and mutt so i know immediately i'll see like you know my opponent switch over to the cornerback or the safety or something like that in this area trying to stop this play so being able to just do this and just keep this guy on a drag and not change anything else number one like i said it's super glitchy as you're going to see right here i mean i think i got i had to get rid of that ball a little bit quick but you can see he gets past the coverage hopefully the next time i run i won't have that issue i find a play like this definitely works best the more you know space you have the open side of the field so we will move the ball over just a little bit now, to be fair, you do need an elite speed receiver and a strong arm quarterback to make this work against some coverages. But against something like cover three, it's going to be very successful without any real uh, need for that stuff, as you can see right there. I mean, he was going by a mile. It all really matters with how much this guy runs through the zone chuck, as you can see right there. He doesn't really get zone chucked very hard at all. And then I don't get a very good pass. I actually get a pass inside towards the safety when I was trying to turn up the field. But it's really all about that. If you can get through that zone chuck, he's going to be gone. And this is it. There's no other setup. In the previous video, I had multiple setups. I'm sure a lot of people might have struggled with that. This is going to be your setup no matter what defense you're looking at. The only real thing that could change is uh, what receiver you're going to throw to based off of what defense you have. That's going to be the difference. You're going to have different receivers get over. Open. But you can see, I mean, this receiver right here, as long as Patrick Mahomes isn't out throwing Tyreek Hill, um, he's getting open every time. So here's another, I mean, you can see he just runs right through that, uh, and we're having a much easier connection there. So obviously against cover three, this is one of the easier plays. But what's really impressive to me now and one of the reasons I'm making this video is because, like I said, this actually beats uh, prevent defenses now. 
uh, which typically you're only going to see at the end of a half, maybe at the end of a game if you get the ball back with like 10 seconds left. You might need a play like this. You might need a play in your back pocket since, like I said, this is in most playbooks. This is probably in your favorite playbook. You can glitch out cover three, man three deep defense. So let's go and let's pick that. With the exact same setup, all you have to do is drag that X route and put the A route on a streak. And now you're going to see how this safety, for whatever reason, just drops right off the map. And you basically just lets it run right by him for an easy one-play touchdown against a defense, which really shouldn't have one. There really should be a one-play touchdown against this defense. That's the purpose of this defense. Uh, but it really doesn't matter. As you can see now, I have both my both my uh, guys activated here. I got my superstar ability on both receiver and quarterback. So that's going to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to uh, I'm gonna take a sack quick just to take off the um, the X factor, the superstar ability, because I don't want that to, to make any difference here. So now we have that off. Right back into it here. Um, like I said, you don't need, I mean, I have Tyreek Hill running this, but I could run this with somebody like McCall Hardman, uh, any number of receivers. It just has to be somebody that's at least fast enough to, uh, to, to you know, beat the man coverage. So let's go ahead and let's switch out the receiver real quick. So now I put in uh, McCall Hardman, um, who obviously is a little bit slower than, uh, than Tyreek Hill. Um, but you can see it's going to have, have the same effect. We're still going to get past that defense, which, like I said, there shouldn't be any way to do that. It's a prevent. Typically, people like to run the three deep man prevent, but just for posterity, um, if somebody does run a regular prevent, which is the zone style, this will this will glitch that out too. If somebody's running this style of prevent defense, which I have seen online uh, from time to time, probably not as much as the three deep man, but you can glitch that out too by making the same adjustments, only this time motioning across the tight end and putting him on a comeback route. If you do this, you'll have the uh, exact same effect, although even easier, as you can see right here, uh, the coverage just completely breaks. Although I didn't score on that particular play, but it's obviously still a very big play. So like I said, both of this, this play entirely, it's all about this route right here. This is the, the route that really has all the effect that this play needs uh, which to me really you know if anything EA would have to nerf this particular route but you can see because of that drag that zone follows and because of that comeback this uh, this cover three uh, I'm not really sure what he is but he's basically supposed to be in a deep zone and he just drops right down on that comeback route if we put all these extra receivers on comebacks this is one of the ways you glitch these type of defenses is with comeback routes so if you put them all on comebacks it would probably make it that much easier and now you can see I, mean, I might be throwing the ball a little bit too soon to get that touchdown but we got it we got that 50 yarder we broke that defense uh, i still think i probably should have held the ball a little bit longer but you can see no matter what prevent defense this play has an answer for it so just to show like i said there is multiple uh you know routes that will get open against different defenses against cover two i would say the best way to throw this ball will be straight to this a route so if you get a cover two uh, zone like i got there that's probably going to be your best reads to the tight end splitting the safeties for a play like a cover two, though, you probably would be more to the middle because, once again, you want to keep this formation spread. So having this formation spread out like this uh, will definitely help. Uh, and then you can see now I have a little bit more space to the center of the field where, because of the, for, you know, once again, the formation being this spread is what makes this such an explosive formation. And then against man cover one, same setup. The Y route's going to be the win. Uh, as you're going to see, it's just going to run right past that coverage. I mean, it's really good man cover one play to the outside. Man cover two is different, however. Against man cover two, there's going to be a different read, but we'll go ahead and run this one more time just to show how easy this is against cover one man. Like I said, same read as cover three. Against man cover two, the Y route will a lot of times get outside of it, um, but it really depends. I mean, if you have a good receiver, a good route running receiver, he'll get more separation. Another good play would be the RB route. Uh, because it does typically get an inside release and the safeties are pulling everybody back So if it's cover two man, you have a couple different options really just depends on where your best receiver is on the field So the other play that I put out was the strong curl this play doesn't really take any adjustments So I'm just gonna go over that quick for the people that didn't catch that we'll go random nickel So all I'm really gonna do and this is not gonna change the setup for this play is the exact same that it always was Put the Y route here on a smart route, bring this guy in, put him on a streak, and then streak the A route, or put the A route on a drag. It really doesn't matter. Uh, and then it really doesn't matter what defense it is. You can see how he's just wide open. I mean, that was, I don't even, it doesn't matter what defense this is. That's going to be the route. Uh, and it really all has to do with the smart route. Uh, but you can see, like I said, I don't know what this was, but the second he's, you know, from the start of the play, he's outside by about five to 10 yards. I mean, that's something you're going to see consistently when you run this play, which is why it's my second favorite play. I like this play. I mean, it's a 
single read play for the most part, which is the only reason I don't run them more often. But that single read is like always open. So like I said, it really doesn't matter what play you run or what defense you run. A lot of times this Y route is just super crapping on it, whether it's man or zone, which that looked like a man coverage right there. It just totally shook him out of his shoes. Uh, this is going to be a play. Um, the first play, there really is no real um, play in the first play for cover four drop. Uh, this play here, though, is terrific against cover four drop. As you can see, uh, we're just getting what looks like. I mean, that wasn't a cover four, but whatever defense that was, I shouldn't have been able to score on it. I'll show it against cover four one time just for any, for any naysayers. Um, you know because they're out there so we'll just do this one time like I said it doesn't really matter the coverage and you can see it just beats it to the outside if I was running it to the open side of the field it'd be even easier but like I said I did go over those so let's go over a man beater that I never put out on YouTube and that play is the Y corner so we'll go ahead and we'll pick that on the defensive side we'll go ahead and we'll pick cover two man because this is going to be cover two man is still one of the more used uh, defensive formations so I want to try to make sure I incorporate man beaters so let's go ahead and let's pick that so I'm going to motion this guy in one more time. The Y route on a smart route is what gives him that release. If you don't smart route him, you typically won't get that. You could also put the RB route on a streak because that will help to get uh, the A route open. And uh, you also have um, the B route coming open underneath as a check down. And that's really your reads. You're just going from the Y route to the A route to the B route. The B route, I'd rather put him on a drag altogether. I don't really want uh, him having that. But if that Y route gets that inside release, he's open right over the middle of the cover too. If he doesn't get that inside release, you move on. So we're going to do that again. You could also put the RB route on a drag. I just want to get these guys out of the way for Kelsey because he really is the second read on the play. Let's go and let's do that one more time. Like I said, if he doesn't get that inside release, Kelsey here's a really good route run to the outside. It's really simple. So you have your first read, your second read, then your drags, your checkdowns. So I'm going to end the video there. If you guys want to see more stuff out of formations like this, out of empty formations, out of, you know, whatever playbook, let me know in the comment section or hit the like button. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.